The last five years has been a time when Morbe farmers have reaped what they sowed over the last decade. In cooperatives, they worked hard towards producing volumes to meet international export requirements. In October last year, the farmers were given a Cocoa Excellence Award in Paris for the quality of the cocoa they produced. Now the challenge is to maintain that quality. Uh, best practices are required in coming up with the best quality that the market requires, that the market wants. With the onset of the cocoa pot borer disease, cocoa production dropped significantly, with East New Britain being the hardest hit. The central bank figures showed a drop in production between 2012 and 2013, reflecting the onset of the disease. In 2014, the recovery began. One of the biggest problems affecting the exports is transportation. Many of the farmers are located in remote parts of the country and getting their crop to a market can take days. In Morobe, cocoa production is expected to rise as extension work is revived by the PNG Cocoa Board. The future for Morobe looks very bright. Uh, Morobe has the land, they have the labor, they have the people, and then uh, the area coverage for cocoa is so wide. And in Morobe, we've increased from 2,000 uh, over the years uh, to almost three, almost 4,000 tons now in Morobe province exactly. Scott Whitey, National MTV News, Lake.